Good morning. Welcome to Family Faith Creek. My name is Kathy, and today I have something really special sitting on my table. But before we get to that, you will notice that I have purple on my table. Purple is the color of Lent. Lent is the time period when Jesus gets ready to die on the cross and raise from the dead on Easter. This is the beginning of Lent, which begins with Ash Wednesday. And from there on out, there's six weeks where we focus on the story of Jesus and his preparation before he is crucified and then raised from the dead. Part of these stories is, look at this yummy, yummy cake right here. Are you tempted to eat it or go like this with your finger? Or how about if I had my bowl of lollipops here, suckers, would you be tempted to come by and take one without asking? You know what? That happens. We get tempted many, many different ways to do something that is against God's wishes. And Jesus, who is God, was also human. And the devil tempted Jesus, too. Now think about 40 days. That's like a whole month plus about 10 more days. And Jesus went out into the desert and he did not eat that whole time. Now we can e easily get hungry between lunch and supper or between breakfast and lunch as you're waiting at school and it's like, isn't it lunchtime? I'm starving. Now think of doing it for 40 days. Now, while Jesus was in the desert, along came the devil, and he was tempting Jesus. And I am going to read some passages that, they, that Jesus was tempted, and you think, what would I do? And I'll tell you what Jesus' response was, too. The devil says, hey, Jesus! And Jesus says, it's the devil. The devil says, been in the desert for 40 days? And Jesus says, yes, 40 days. Hey, here you're hungry. Jesus says, yes, I am. The devil says, turn this stone into bread. Because the devil knew how, how hungry Jesus was. And Jesus said, I am hungry. And the devil said, lots of stone? Lots of bread. But Jesus says, no. No, no, no. Actually, he said no once. But no one can live on food alone. And then the temple, um, the devil tempted him by taking Jesus to a very, 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 very high cliff. And Jesus says, ooh, this is very high. And the devil says, what a view. And Jesus said, lots of kingdoms. The devil said, you can be a very powerful king. People would worship you. And Jesus says, nope, I worship only God. And then Jesus said, then the devil and Jesus went to a temple. And he says, how did we get here? And just the devil saying, jump, jump, jump. And Jesus is like, I'm not going to jump. And the devil says, but God will send angels to catch you. And Jesus says, no, don't test God. And the devil says, you're no fun. I'm leaving. And you know what? Those words were kind of shortened versions of how Jesus was really tempted. He was tempted to turn stone into bread because he was so hungry. He was tempted at the top of the cliff to make all the kingdoms his. And he was tempted to jump off the top of the temple and, you know, God would save him. But Jesus resisted those temptations. 
He knew that God is always with him. He knew that you don't test God. You don't, you know, do things to see if God's listening. We follow God and God is with us. And so when we're tempted to do different things like taking some of these treats, we can know that, hey, Jesus was tempted too. He knows how hard it is. But we know too that Jesus resisted it and he stopped it and he said, no, because we worship the true God. When you're out in this coming week and you feel like doing something that you really shouldn't do or eating something you really shouldn't eat or being mean to someone where you really shouldn't be mean to them, take a minute, stop and say, no, I worship God only. Let's fold our hands to pray. Father in heaven, I know that you are with me. I know that Jesus was tempted and he resisted. And I know that Jesus and you are with me to resist temptation also. Thank you for sending Jesus into my life. Amen. Have a great week.